It's a Weather Extreme video for Monday the 20th. I'm James Spann getting a new work week cranked up here and our weather tour rolls along this week. Three down, two to go. Last week we were at Pleasant Grove High School. This week we are at Pleasant Valley High School. Uh, that's in East Alabama's Calhoun County near Jacksonville, not too far from Gadsden. Uh, very close to where there was serious tornado damage last April 27th during our generational tornado outbreak. We'll kick it off at 630. Always love coming to Pleasant Valley. We hope to see you there. Check some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa Skycam. It's clear and cold. We're sitting around freezing in most spots this morning. There's a look at downtown Fayette. They're sitting at 29 at uh, 5 o'clock. And look at the campus of the University of Montevallo. Already the next storm system is off to the west, but today looks good. We'll enjoy a nice uh, sunny day today through those high clouds you see from the subtropical jet stream. Uh, we'll be up around 60 today, but yeah, it's cold this morning. You can see everybody sitting in the uh, low 30s in most spots. Birmingham, 32. The coldest spot, Haleyville at 26. And these are all taken at 5 a.m. But again, the dry air heats pretty effectively. We'll be up there close to uh, 60 today. And around the nation, you can see a tongue of warmer air coming up over the middle of the nation. And after today, we'll warm up. In fact, by uh, Thursday, we could be in the low and mid 70s. So uh, again, uh, these cold snaps just are not lasting very long. There's our watch warning map around the nation. Wind issues for the Texas Panhandle, parts of uh, Kansas and Oklahoma. Winter weather advisories way up north with this next system. But again, this one's going to be really weakening and passing way north of here. And there's the rain for the next five days. Ballot through Friday evening at 6 o'clock, suggesting about one half inch. Let's take a look, model fans. This is the 06E GFS at noon today. At 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground, there's the short wave coming out of the Rockies down below that. A little bit of snow for parts of the plains. The better snows up over the Dakotas and around here, just a nice day. Uh, both the uh, GFS and the NAM are showing a high of 59. But tonight, the clouds will thicken. And tomorrow, there's the deal. The short wave weakens and lifts way north of here. So not much to it. The, you can see the GFS hinting at maybe a brief bit of rain or drizzle tomorrow morning and we'll mention that just a small chance of a shower during the morning hours and then maybe the sun peaks through by afternoon and that's about it uh, and we warm up high should be in the middle 60s wednesday how about a high close to 70 the uh, gfs is showing 70 the nam is at 71 moisture is pooled up a little bit here but there's nothing really to squeeze it out so i guess you might mention a slight chance of a shower but most of the day should be dry with a mix of sun and clouds thursday here comes the next wave to the west and notice the southern energy over texas and the northern energy and uh, by golly that stuff might phase up here we'll take a look at that now this is down below that on thursday and this is suggesting a chance of showers thursday maybe the better chance coming uh, thursday night and will be very mild. Uh, the GFS is showing 74 Thursday. Yeah, we got phasing here. Look at Friday. Everything phases up into a big trough up and down the mighty Mississippi and down below that. The rain is on by by midday Friday and we turn sharply colder for one day, just for one day. Uh, good strong north the wind, cold air advection. And uh, if this is right, uh, highs would only be in the low 50s, maybe upper 40s with a strong northwest wind. Kind of a blustery day with uh, snow flurries north of here over Tennessee and Kentucky with a deepening surface low moving out of Michigan. But Saturday, yeah, not bad. Saturday looks pretty good. Now, we'll start today probably well down in the 30s, but the high should be close to 60 and will be dry. And Sunday will be dry with mid-60s. Uh, moisture coming back off to the west in a week from today, Monday the 27th. Kind of a fast zonal flow, cold air to the north, and uh, rain moving in. Uh, but again, uh, uh, the cold air stays far enough north not to cause any mischief down here. In fact, that just looks kind of wet, maybe even some thunder if that's right. And again, that's a week from today on the 27th. We'll check the end of the forecast on March the 6th. All right, you got your battle there between that warm ridge over the Gulf in Florida that's a, a, what, 586 ridge, and then you got the uh, cold air over Canada. Well, the ridge is obviously close enough to win the battle. That's very mild if this is right, and that suggests maybe some showers coming in. And Let's check the North Atlantic Oscillation. Still positive. You know, uh, that thing, just to, every time it wants to kiss that neutral line, it just bumps right back up and goes positive again. So 
Still time for a pattern change, but um, again, I remind everybody, some of the biggest snows here have come when? March and early April, so we'll see. It's uh, way too early to say that cold weather and winter weather mischief is over for sure. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.